The title of this message, as you see on the overhead, is Everybody is Searching for Something. Amen. The search is over, and you don't even know it. <laughs> search means to look through thoroughly to seek out. All right. People have always been in search for something. Some been in search for money. And the Bible tells us it's the root of all evil. We steal, we kill, we rob, we deceive, we lie for it. For a thin piece of wood with monetary notes on it, with their prejudice on it. Amen? People are in, in search for sex. Come on. People are in search for sex. And I know how I can speak for men because I am a man. When we see women, we just go crazy. Ask David when you see him. He looked down on Bathsheba and went nuts. But he brought a curse on his family for sex. Look at Solomon. I watched that last night. And he was a pervert. Every woman he seen, oh, I got to have her. Can you imagine having, I'm talking to men now, can you imagine having 700 wives and 300 cockabies? I'll be crazy. And they would be mad because whatever the name was, you would be so confused, you would be calling her, then that ain't my name. Amen? Some of them search for acceptance. We want to be a part of something. We want to be, you know, fit in. We want to fit in a crowd, sometimes even in the church home. We want a positions. Amen? As the minister said, it ain't even about us. See, when I preach, it's not for show. It's for his glow. Amen? But we all want to be accepted. Is that right? right. Some want to be accepted in the games. And to me, young folks, that's crazy. Because I don't want nobody beating me into nothing. Right. Amen? <laughs> Some in search for a leader. Yes. Over there in Pakistan, there it is. Yes. They're searching for a leader right now, as we mentioned, right here in Mount Calvary. Right. We got a search committee. Searching for a pastor. All right. But I love the Lord because he already knew who he, who he is. Yeah. God told who the pastor is, whether he's good or evil. Uh -huh. That's right. Huh? That's why we got to continue to praise us right. because we don't know who's coming in here. Right. Amen? Yeah. But we're going to keep the faith, a strong faith, the prayer talking to my family members here. We all found How many of y'all saved in here? Hallelujah. I don't see the Lord. Oh, oh. How many of y'all saved in here? Oh, okay. All right. All right. I, will, I really want to know because a lot of people don't know what salvation is. Right. A lot of people don't. I'm, I've been baptized. First thing is, I've been baptized. There's a lot of people that thought that in hell right now. Huh? Amen. Amen. Some in search for peace. Amen. You know, Biden went over to the other land. Yes, but the peace failed. All right. They say the peace failed. And we all looking for peace. On, I hear my wife say that. I just want some peace. <laughs> I, say, my baby, I just want some peace. I say, baby, only way when we gonna have peace is when we leave here and take off the corruptible and put on the incorruptible. Amen. Amen. How many of y'all witness to that? Amen. Amen. Some are even in search for the right God. All right. Have mercy. Some people are searching for idols and they don't even know it. They're in sex. They think or see the devil wants you to think what's wrong is right. 
He turned himself into an angel of light. He don't want you to run from him. People think he covered red and with horns. The Bible described him. He was gorgeous. He's like a wolf and a fox. The difference is the, the, the fox going to show you his teeth and let you know he going to eat you up. And the wolf going to smile at you. He's going to lose you in with a smile. And then he's going to tear you up. Amen? Some are in search for who they are. You know, I was talking and I was thinking. He mentioned I was in prison. And there was a young brother, i never forget him. I grew up with his uncle and him, and on the street, he executed two people. But on the street, he called himself, he changed his name to Al Capone. Yeah. But when he got to prison, when I was down in prison with him, I can't remember the name, but he changed his name to Alibaba. He turned Muslim. That's why sometimes we are confused to who we are. They go that acceptance. He wanted to fit in. Can I get a witness? Y'all got a quiet here. Huh? Some of them search for their roots. Where we come from. Amen? Some is search for love. This message is telling us that we're searching for everything but God. We're searching for, I said, money, sex. We're searching for peace. But God, our God, we serve, he puts it plain good. How many Bible reasons in here? How many of y'all love the Lord? You know what? The only way you're going to know him, the only way, you know, I can't preach without the word of God. So if you ain't reading, you better read. I didn't want to come to church and just be a pitch one. My search is a diligent search. A soul. That's my passion. The Bible says the wise man wins souls. But I'm going to do just what he says. Huh? Y'all kind of quiet, y'all won't. Palm Sunday. Hey Amen. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, uh, the other day, I saw a picture of a brother. He showed me on his phone. It was very, very horrifying because the brother I grew up with, him and his family, and he's a Muslim. And he had his scripture in lavender colored chalk, green and blue. He had, his daughters was writing, they had on a Muslim garb. That's what they wrote in the ground. Save me from the hellfire. All right, all right. Hold on. I was thinking after I left, what happened to Allah? Because me and his daddy, their daddy, you know when you talk about it, it causes confusion. So we made a pact. We still love each other because we were biting each other's head off. I was quoting scriptures. He wasn't quoting the Quran, but most of them, just like Christians too, don't know the word. <laughs> So, I mean, for real, because I was talking to one Muslim. He got so angry, I had to leave. Because I was telling him scriptures, and he couldn't. I said, go get your Quran. Go get it. He started slobbing. I said, it's time to go. It's time to go. I'm going to brush my feet off and don't count him as an enemy. I still love him. God love us. Uh, uh, no matter who you are, Buddha, wicked, five percent. I don't want to be five percent of nothing. Five percent. Amen. Some of my even in search to do nothing. 
is a sin to do nothing. Ouch. You can go to hell for doing nothing. You can go to hell for just sitting and doing nothing. There's a lot of people in hell. It's a shame and it's, it's sad because that's how I think today. Because the Lord has changed me. Y'all in my heart. Amen. 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 Those of you that know me know it's for real. Right. If it wasn't, I wouldn't be standing here. Right. I'd be out somewhere <laughs> talking about get mine. I don't care how you get it. Yeah. Put it on the train, leave it on the track. Yeah. But God is a good God. My search was wrong. Right. I was searching for something. But I wasn't satisfied. Yeah. I wasn't satisfied. But when I went to college, I called college. I'm at jail college. All right, that's right. I surrendered it all. Yeah. I threw my hands up. Yeah. You know when the police asked me in the house, they said, call with your hands up. When I was in there, I surrendered because he called me. He said, come out with your hands up. I said, I'm surrendering it all. I'm tired, I can't do it no more. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Well, back in ancient time, men looked, searched God, so they made their gods with human hands. They made them out of wood, clay, mortar, concrete. And as time moved into the future, they heard of this Savior. We're going to go back to Genesis. In Genesis chapter 3, verse uh, 14, 15, excuse me, yes. it tells you prophecy that everybody's searching for something. The search was right there in the beginning of things. That's what Genesis yeah. means. Yeah. The search is right there. Because yeah. it tells you his head will be bruised and his heel will be bruised for us. Yeah. Amen. So Jesus in St. John chapter 14, go down chapter 1, I'm sorry. So Jesus came in the world, and the world knew him not. He was right there, and they didn't even know it. We talking about God. How many of y'all believe God came in the flesh? How many of y'all believe that he took all the human form and subjected himself to human limitations yes, yes, yes. to come as a last sacrifice. Before that, they would have animals and shed the blood around the altar and they burned it. That's why when you hear me say, when you come to the altar, the flesh is burnt. Amen. I'm going to teach you that. <laughs> See, in order to teach, you got to preach, you got to teach. Y'all learning something this morning? How many of y'all believe the search is over? <laughs> and sin, the meaning of sin is to meet, miss your mark or your target. Amen. Those who I talk about are in hell, they miss, they mark, and they target. Amen. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth. And the life. No man, no man coming on to the Father but by me. Amen. So we're going to fast forward down to the verse 14 in St. John. And as I said, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Sometimes it's hard to believe that. In the past, I was puzzled. I was thinking about other sects like they were. Could God do that? You need a partner. But what got me, he is the God that created everything. So what is impossible to him? Nothing. Amen? Nothing is impossible. What an outcry when they cried in ancient times. We still cry today for a savior. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen? 
The crowd wanted a savior. Well, blessed assurance, we have a relief. Amen. 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 One other prophecy in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 6. Read it on your time, or if you want to read it now, it's on you. Therefore, the he himself shall give a sign. Yes. Behold, look, a virgin yes. shall conceive and bear a son, yes. and shall call his name Emmanuel. Yes. Right. right now, he's with us. Right. Amen. Yes. The kingdom of God is right here. Y'all believe that today? Yes. How many of y'all believe that? Something is done, as the minister said, the transition. When she said, Minister Porter said in her uh, announcement, the transition. When you accept Jesus, it's a transition. No, you can't feel it. Because right. what's all the flesh that came out of your mama's womb, that was flesh. That's what Jesus told Nicodemus. But what's a spirit is a spirit. And when this transition takes, it's a renewing yes. process, yes. that is. All right. Amen? Amen? Let us pray. Gracious and heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, today for your word. We thank you, Lord, for your sovereignty. We thank you for your divine connection. Father God, I sincerely move myself out of the way and ask that you take over this message. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Because you're the speaker. Yes. Jesus is the microphone and the Holy Spirit is the cord that connects into the vessel to amplify your word. Yes. Lord, let the congregation receive it with gladness and joy. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us say amen. 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 Let's give it my hand. Jesus was, Jesus magnetized a multitude of people. As you read, it said on the next day, very much people that would come to the feast. Yes. But my, I got a two points. I'm going to make The first one is about the whole Bible. Prophecy fulfilled. That's the whole Bible. Huh? Yeah. Amen? Yeah. I forgot I had too many uh, Bible readers in there. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I used to be reading it either. It's in church and I ain't reading it either. It's okay, but I kept coming. All right. uh, one second. This brother here, you don't mind, do you? When I was in prison, this was years ago, I was still cussing and everything in there. This brother, but I was curious. This brother here used to come to the window and teased me while I was in Bible study because I was serious. But he didn't know. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't. He was at the window. <laughs>
Now a multitude of people heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. The people of ancient time had a feast for their kings. Yeah. They took palm trees yeah. and waved them yeah. for the king in ancient times. Yeah. Well, <coughs> Jesus had the power to make people believe. Yeah. All right. He has the power to make you believe. Amen. In mathematics, M means plus. It's a positive. So when people went and got leaves and plus, they were very joyful yeah. at the moment. Amen. Right. You hear me now? Amen. You're too near me now. Because eight days later, they flipped on Jesus. I'm here to tell you, Jesus was on coward. I watched the movie last night. <laughs> When he was turning over tables. Yeah. Didn't know them? Yeah. Was pushing them. Pushing them out the window. Right. Turning over them tables. Yes. This is a house of prayer. Yeah. You made it a wolf, den of wolves and thieves. Yeah. This is the house of prayer. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Jesus made the people believe that the Savior was he. Even the disciples walked with him. <laughs> they doubted. All right. uh -huh. Thomas was one of the chief doubters. Yeah. Yeah. Who is he? All the way to the middle end. Right. Let me see the holes in there. Uh -huh. Let me see them. Jesus sold him with love. Did he not? And that's like us. Yes. We got to see it to believe it. <laughs> Where is your faith? All right. Little as a mustard seed. But the search is over today. The time arrived. All right. And you won't even know it. The people cried, Hosanna, Hosanna, which means save now. Where is Minister Coleman? I remember when she preached that. Where's she at? All right, all right. Just. Hosanna means save now. The crowd was desperate. They was in need of this Savior, the one that they heard about. People in that crowd had problems just like some of us today. Right. You know, when, they, when, they, when Jesus, everybody said, they talked about Jesus. They talked about Jesus. Yes, they did. Because we live in a deep, dark world. People are cruel. It's our nature. People are cruel. It's their nature. It's our nature. The Bible tells us that we were born in iniquity. We were born with a bad ticker. That's another message. That's right. All right. And, and wicked above all things. Who can know it? Desperately wicked. That's to let you know that, you know, we're in church hall and I, I guarantee the person next to you to say hi, good morning, they like the song, say it with a smile. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. They got out. They got quiet in there. <laughs> When you're a Christian, we're supposed to represent Jesus in love. So when I see one of my brothers and sisters, like the song say, I'm supposed to smile and receive them with joy. Or I might as well take a seat. All right. Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> but some doubt it. Some seen the miracle that he did. Let me put a plural on that. The miracles that Jesus did for some doubted and some seen the miracle and did not believe. Because you know what? They were saying he's doing witchcraft. He's doing magic, man. They staged in this. Just like today, people say the same thing. He ain't God. God don't need no partner. Oh, that was witchcraft. That was voodoo. <coughs> That's what one brother told me. Uh, uh, Christianity is voodoo. 
I said, where you get that from? But you know what? This is what people hear. They be joining everything, but they won't read. Us Christians do. They won't read. I used to do it. I used to do it. Oh, the white man wrote the Bible. White man wrote it. I used to say it wasn't true. But I come to find out, how would I know if I don't read? <laughs> if I take this here pulpit and I make it without instructions, I don't know, I might have some screws left over. <laughs> this drawer here might fall down when I put it. That's what the Bible is, instruction to life. He said a correction. That's where I go. And, and guess what? It's like a hydraulic jet. It'll Amen. lift you up. Amen. 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 Some people today believe uh, and some don't. But what the crowd was searching for was right there. You ever heard the saying, I know we all have, if it was a snake, it would have bit you. All right. Amen. You know, I was talking to a pastor, we do a Kairos. I was talking to Pastor Shell the other day. He was giving me a number. And Pastor Snell said, oh, well, let me get the number. I got to find it. He was looking for it. He was searching for it. Pastor Snell forgot to call me back. I forgot too because I went to sleep. Yeah. All right. But the next day, I called him. He said, oh, 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 let me get that number. I will get that number, man. I got to look for it. And he said, let me call you right back. He called me right back and said, the number was right here. And many of y'all ever did that. You ever looked for something that was right there? Huh? I know I ain't the only one. Pastor Snell ain't the only one. The same in the spirit. Jesus is right here, right now today. Amen? We think he a million miles away. That ain't what he said. Because you've been sealed with something. A Holy Spirit. Until the day of redemption. Until your body is gone by. This is corruptible. Read it ain't corruptible. You know, today is my son's birthday. He got killed. And when he got killed, I never forget it. The woman said, his remains. And it hit me. Bam! I was like, wow. Because see, when you're spiritually inclined, <coughs> you can see revelations, whatever you watch on TV. All right, all right. You can see revelations. You can hear, and like you said, in sports. You can hear revelations in song. This is where I got it from, you young know, folks. Yeah. I got two killers with me, and you don't even know it. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I heard that song, but I was saying something that is, took me there to scripture. That God in the flesh walked this earth. Even back in ancient times, he had folks walking with him. He was healing people. I imagine the people like us today, he was healing and touching people. But they went on about their business. We got to use our imagination. See, back in ancient times, they didn't have light. We would have had to use fire. They didn't have Instagram. They didn't have Facebook. They didn't have water beds and spinning wheels. They didn't have Chrysler, Cadillac, Ferrari, Benzo. They didn't have none of that. Amen? Well, in this hypostatic union, how many of y'all have heard of that? Look it up. Amen. It's a trillion percent God, a trillion percent man, and a trillion percent spirit. That's the trinity. Amen? Amen. Let's give God some praise. 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 All right, amen. Amen. We all love the Lord, though. Let's say. 
I bring uh, a man in here. Some would say he's just a man if he said he's the way, the truth, and the light. But Jesus, yes, he was flesh, like no other flesh, because he was without sin. Amen. 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 Why? Because he was God in the flesh. Amen. They will say this man has gone too far. Like they said over 2,000 years ago, let's kill him. Well, when Jesus arrived, the Pharisees watched. And it stirred up more anger. Because you know, when God used you, it stirs up anger. Yeah. Read the fine line of truth. And that's his word. And it'll show you that any of those people that he used is stirred up anger. Yeah. Just think with Mary. They, uh, uh, Joseph was dating and courting. Uh -huh. If I was dating and courting my wife before we got married, and she came to me and said, hey, baby, uh, I'm pregnant. <laughs> And I ain't never touched her. You what I'm gonna do? Oh, that's good, baby. <laughs> All right, you like click, click, what? <laughs> All this time I've been, you know, with you and you, uh, you know, telling me you pregnant. Who you pregnant by? He didn't come in for riding on a horse. He was king. 
When, you, when the kings rode a horse, it represented war. But he came to represent who he is, the king of kings. When you accept the Lord as your king and savior, First Peter tells us in chapter 2, verse 9, that he's taken us in this transition from darkness to his marvelous light. Amen. Yeah. 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 Things change in this transition. Yeah. You don't want to search no more in the bar. Yeah. You don't want to search no more for him on the corner. Yeah. You don't want to search no more for that brothel. Yeah. How many of y'all know what a brothel is? You don't want to search no more when you got Jesus in your heart. You stand tall and bold and scream his words. We all want rewards. You better get up and do something. I'm just telling you the truth what God said. Because we all raise our hands when we say it like we preach. It ain't like right us. It ain't about what you know. It ain't even about that. If you got Jesus in your heart, it ain't about no scriptures. Because if you can go to a lost soul and tell him about Jesus, what you know, where you were, where you at now, where you're headed. Give all the scriptures you need to know, and I can tell you to stay there. But this is, when you accept Jesus, the new transition is an ongoing process. He knows you ain't going to get up here and preach. It takes time. We keep making mistakes. I know I do. I got to repent daily. I tell the truth. Huh? I got to repent daily. I tell you the truth. I ain't going to sit here alone this morning. Truth. And when I use his words, it ain't nothing but the truth. It ain't for me. I said, I'm going to move myself out the way. The Holy Spirit is talking right now. How many of y'all believe that? Now, my, point, my second point witnessing Jesus' power. Now the people bear record of something that never ever happened on the planet before. As you read, it said on the next day, he was with Lazarus, the one he raised from the dead. But Jesus' disciples understood not these things until Jesus was glorified with the Father. They remembered the things written of him. You know what they were saying? <laughs> they were saying, there's something about this man. Yes. Right. Yes. He performed this miracle that had an effect on the crowd yes. like none other the miracles he did. Amen? Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But God is good, y'all. God is good, y'all. Not sometimes. Now let's say, I will right now today bring a man in a coffin and I will tell him, your God, thank you, Lord, rise up! Today, I would be on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, where your face need to be in a book, the holy book of God's word. Amen. I would, they would be searching for me. Yeah. I would be all they'd be looking for me for David Levin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but back then, they didn't have all that. All right. We need to search that Bible. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Coming to church 
Not a conservative nor a tenant. I want uh, uh, you to have a diligent search for him because he said he searched the heart. Amen? Amen. I would magnetize a lot of people if I did a miracle like that. All right. People would start kneeling down and doing all types of stuff. Yes. If a man did that. Yes. But you know, some people would be just like that one. Yes. Right. Talking about Jesus. All right. I don't want to go on witchcraft. How do you make that man ride? <laughs> No, I don't have that power. Jesus has that power to raise the dead. Now, Lazarus lying dead four days. Decomposing, stinking, riding back to the dirt. So the people saw this and were blown away. Now, for this cause, the people met him. The people did not know what to think. We have been looking for a Savior all right. to come. Yeah. All right. We're still searching for all the wrong things in life. Yeah. You know, about a year ago, I saw a woman on the news searching for a healing in a statue. <laughs> she had people believe that this statue could heal them. Yeah. All right. The woman was searching an idol and didn't even know it. First command, first commandment is what? Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 7 says what? Thou shall have no other God before me. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, give me five readers in here. Yeah. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart.
the search is not for these things on the planet. Yes. Yes. The word of God tells us when he rolled in on that donkey, he was ending his public ministry. He was setting up to make a way for us. Thank you. Because if I, like I said prior in the message, if he didn't do it, we might as well go on to the bar, the club, or whatever. We might as well just hang it up, close all the churches down, because it'll be in vain. See, God knew this search that what we search for is from the beginning of time. He was God. He knew Adam was going to be goofy. Because he didn't charge Adam. When he made man, man is a natural born leader. Women are many leaders. Men are naturally born. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. They don't want to hear that. <laughs> but for what Adam did, it was passed down to us. He cursed the ground. That's why everybody is born, and nobody, and some people are, oh, shoot. Oh, he's been in prison. Yeah, I'm holy. Oh, he's been in prison. Oh, he's been in prison. But look what God can do. Some believe and some don't. 
Now, the Pharisees said among themselves, perceive how you prevail nothing. Perceive means to become aware. The crowd became aware and also prevail, which means to influence or have effect. So the Pharisee had no power that this Jesus had. Because we can't say had, because he's still alive today. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 The search is over, y'all. The woman was at the well. She was thirsty for some water. All right. But Jesus was right there. God was right there with her. And she didn't even know it. The blind man. The blind man. What? The blind man. When he was blind, he didn't know that Jesus was right there. He's here today. And Revelation 21 and 4 says, And God shall wipe all away your tears from your eyes. There should be no more pain. For the former things are passed away. I would like you to invite you to stand.